flying high atop the Skybet League One table. Portsmouth are hunting points rather than Easter eggs this bank holiday weekend as they come to Adams Park to meet Wickham Wanderers. Matt Bloomfield's side are in limbo slightly in the final run-in to the end of the season, neither in danger of falling into the drop zone nor close enough to think about hunting for promotion. But John Massinho and his side are looking to just wrap up a top spot in the table and automatic promotion as soon as possible. Nine points clear of third place. Bolton coming into today. A win will be another step on that journey to the next level of English football. Tidely dealt with on the edge of the 18-yard box. Shaughnessy trying to clear it away. It's good persistence down that far side of the field just to get some space as Leahy was just a bystander and allowed it to continue to come. No one's really closing down either on the edge of the 18-yard box or putting in a challenge. It takes a deflection and somehow finds a way in. Colby Bishop inside three minutes with the opener and it's the perfect start for Pompey. Well, Kamara just causing so many problems. Takes a deflection off of the defender as well. Bishop strike. That perhaps is what beats the Argentinian goalkeeper. Just hooked over the top. Wickham looking for a quick reply here. Good turn away by Lubala. It's a lovely layoff inside the area as well, and tidily finished by Matt Butcher. They have the quick response they were looking for. It's a really intelligent piece of play, that by Richard Kone. Assessed the situation and saw how quickly he could just lay it off to his teammate. Butcher had a brace against Northampton in the last game. Makes it three and two. We're already back level with a goal apiece. Calling for it on that far side of the field. It's moved out there to Kamara. Cuts inside and has a dig, and it took a little ricochet that gave it a touch of top spin. Sent it looping just over the crossbar. Whipped across to that far post, and the header from Pack is not a threatening one. Well, there'll be sterner tests today for sure. Uh, Rivazzoli. Get the feeling Pompey just need to assert themselves in this game once more. I think the quick rebuttal has just shocked them slightly. Lovely play by Sadie. Once more releasing it down the right. Great pullback again. Well, if it works, you might as well keep doing it. Camera finding Bishop, and it's 2 1 once more. Pompey have the advantage. Fairly simple, and a similar sort of finish too for the number nine. And the league leaders have their noses in front once more. We'll play to find a Gilvy. Needs a little help down at the byline. He's got plenty of it. Oh, wonderful stuff between the lines. Just needed the finish. So easy on the eye when they get in full flow, isn't it? Lane's run picked out perfectly by the ball from Moxon. And they just didn't have the final touch at the end of it from the winger. Pompey on the prowl once more, using the flanks really effectively so far this afternoon. Abu Kamara wants to get his name on the score sheet. Not too far away from it either. Rivazzoli just about keeping it in, just about holding on to it. It's a relentless onslaught from the away side's attack. It's a bit untidy down this near side, but it's working. Lubala sends it in. Considering how difficult it was to try and get a shot off. It's well done by Kieran Sadlier, that. Difficult to take. Straight at the keeper, Norris, in the end. Pack with the throw. 
launches it right into the heart of the box and the keeper's come and hasn't really got there has to be cleared off the line somehow and it just about stays out Sean Raggett almost trying to just will it across the line in the end it's the big man up from the back was causing all sorts of problems in there it's really poor defending in the end from Wickham and they just about survive corner plenty to aim at inside the box too send it deep for that nod back across goal doesn't really come and it's a swift strike off the outside of the boot Josh Scoen just lurking on the edge of the area for anything that might fall his way and it did just an awkward one to take in the end never had the angle the approach didn't allow him to try and bend it round the other way into that far corner. Strong challenge from Butcher and we can eventually come away with it. Free kick given right on the edge of the box. Yellow card as well to Moxon for the challenge. Oh, it's off the crossbar. It's just about behind. It's as close as they've come to finding that equaliser that just evades them. Leahy's effort, so threatening from the set piece. Slightly awkward one for the Dutchman to deal with as he was backpedalling and it could be costly as well. Camera. He'll surely look for goal here. Tried to clip it towards that far post instead. And eventually they find their third. Christian Sadie just waiting and waiting. And he wasted no time in thumping at home when it came to him. I have to say it's unselfish initially just to try and pick out the man at the far stick. There's so much time for Sadie. Just to pick his spot, fire it hard and low at the keeper. And it forces its way through. And surely the league leaders are going to hold on to three points on the road. And the travelling supporters enjoying it when they're in possession. They might not enjoy it here if the deficit is reduced to one. It's a superb challenge just to steer it away from Dale Taylor. Taylor just bursting through the heart of the pitch. Just too much of it shown to Swanson. Cleared away by Norris. Not exactly dealt with the long ball at all. Bishop. What a hat-trick, remember, since the 28th minute when he grabbed his second. Might be another chance for Sadie, although he struck it straight into the ground and it was just... Basically digging up the daisies, that one. 26-year-old happy to collect, and he'll hope that the remainder of the efforts like that from the away side. Can't be clipped down the middle. Second bite at the cherry, perhaps. Camera worked his socks off on the right flank. He'd love to come away with his name on the score sheet. Swanson sends it in. It's a good header. It's not good enough. Bishop continues to be a threatening presence. Just doesn't feel like he's going to get that third of the afternoon for himself, though. That's the full-time whistle. It's a victory for the away side, and it's a victory, really, that was expected with Wickham Wanderers. It's very little to play for in the latter part of this season. But top of the table, Portsmouth continue their unbeaten run. It's another three-point haul for John Massinho's side. It came convincingly thanks to the two strikes from Colby Bishop and the one from Christian Sadie. As it finishes here, Wickham Wanderers 1, Portsmouth 3.